What is good name fam and welcome back with the Jesus injury news. In today's video we're going to take a look at the top replacements for him and what that means for our FPL teams for game week one. So let's get into this. Our first replacement is Ollie Watkins. He's 8 million so the same price tag as Jesus was meaning you don't need to rip up your drafts he's just a direct replacement. His first three fixtures of Newcastle, Everton and Burnley look good on paper but it depends on that Newcastle defence and which type turns up. It felt like he was a bit hit and miss last season, but he did get 15 goals and 8 assists, which shocked me a little bit. That isn't bad for someone who floated around that 7.5 million mark for most of last season. With 86 shots and 46 of those on target, he got just over half of his shots overall on target. That's pretty decent. And with two goals in pre-season, it looks like he could be about to pick up where he left off. I am seriously considering him in my team now. Next up is Darwin Nunes. There is concern because he didn't start against Bayern in a full strength Liverpool side. This could just be because of rotation and I expect him to be a regular starter in the Liverpool squad if I'm honest. Saka sat out last night too. I think managers are just preserving some of their players for the long season ahead. Well, maybe. But we'll keep our ears to the ground just in case anyway. At 7.5 million he saves you a bit of cash on Jesus and is 0.5 less than Watkins and is a good way into that Liverpool squad when you may not want to splash the cash on Salah. Or maybe you might just fancy the double up now. Either way we know he can miss a few chances with 35 shots on target but he did still manage 9 goals and 5 assists last season which isn't all that bad. I like a player that's getting chances personally and when his form hits it does mean he can be swimming in the goals. Four goals and one assist in pre-season could mean good things for this up and coming season. He was my differential pick so let's hope he was just rotated against Bayern but there are doubts in my head now and if I go with him I will want decent bench cover. At this point I'd like to mention my sponsors of this video FancyFootballFix.com. All of my stats are gathered from their comprehensive site which will help you win your mini league so make sure you go and check them out by clicking the link pinned to the top of the comments. With that, let's move on to Brentford's Visser. He's saving a bit more of your budget at 6 million, which could allow you to maybe consider a midfield upgrade to Salah. He is a decent pick at his price. He got 7 goals and 4 assists last season with 26 shots in the box, 15 of those being on target. He potentially has a tough fixture in Spurs up first, but after that he's looking pretty tasty on the fixture front. With no Tony, you'd like to think he could capitalise and he did get a goal and an assist in pre-season. Of course, FBL managers' decisions here are going to be maybe whether to go with Embuemo in midfield instead, but Visser offers an alternative. And he could be that bench cover we were just talking about for Darwin Nunes at not too an expensive price. Of course, we have heard today that Nkuku has rolled his ankle, meaning that he might be a tentative option now for FPL managers. And we are waiting on that eagerly awaited news for the Kane transfer situation so all eyes will firmly be on these. Well what does this mean for our FPL teams? Well I suspect we'll see some formation changes in the template. I doubt many will start with three up top now which was my preferred formation and depending on the Kane situation we may see another premium added to squads now whether that be Trent, Salah or or Kane. So let me know in the comments below who your replacement for Jesus is going to be if you had him in your draft. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, join the NIMFAM and be a part of the 23-24 season fun. Hit that notification bell and don't miss a thing. Until next time, NIMFRIA out.